It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. Yeah. The darkspawn that attacked Redcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. Yeah, why did we think they were headed here? The Darkspawn line is wide, and many of them roam away from the main horde. Until now, most of them have been spotted here in the west. Not to mention that we've been too busy killing each other to pay much attention to some silly old Darkspawn horde. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denerim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. Uh, cunning check. But, um, yeah. I'd say, well, obviously the reason the Horde was being spotted more here in the west is because there's kind of a lot more of the main hubs over here to the west. There's just kind of the, you know, properties in between all the way to Denerim. Most of what's to the east is the Brazilian forest, which surely that's what they were going through to hide their approach. But let's do the cunning. The Arc Demon is old is what's important. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. I like those ones. No need to falter. Yeah, we need a plan. Just how are we supposed to defeat this Arc Demon? I was wondering that myself. Then you don't know. Of course not. You're both new recruits. Duncan wouldn't have expected. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Perhaps you and Alistair should meet me before you retire for the evening. There are... things we need to speak of. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. Alright, let's see what we're talking we can get done. Marrying Alistair to Honora would not have been my first choice. Still, it does keep the Theron bloodline alive, and Honora is a fine ruler. So I suppose I owe you thanks, Warden. All of Ferelden does. I think in the end it's going to be for the best. Are there any other allies we can use? We have sent messengers to Orle. With any luck, the Empress will send us help within a week. I we think it week. entirely possible, however, that she has written Ferelden off as a lost cause already, and will seek to defend her empire first. Yeah. Perhaps the Grey Wardens of Orlais will be able to march and reach us in time. We should not rely on their arrival, even so. We have to make do with what we have. Uh, shouldn't Alistair be staying here? He insists on going. How can I say no? I am uneasy with the oh, okay. danger he puts himself in by accompanying you. I ask myself if he does not conspire to leave the throne to Honora after all. But Alistair knows his duty. He will do what is best. Right now, he believes that is assisting you in contacting your allies. Yeah, I wouldn't ask them to stay. I didn't realize what it was meaning. I apologize, meaning. but there are urgent matters I must deal with. Please seek me out another time. Okay, I should get to my room. 
And now Denerim is under assault by the Darkspawn. The death toll will be... staggering. I wish you luck, Grim. Good evening, Four my lady. Objects. It is an honor to meet you. Talk to the regular guys. How do you feel about the coming battle? I am not certain. On one hand, I yearn for the capital to be defended. There are so many lives at stake. But it feels as if we are rushing to our doom. Do you truly feel that we have a chance of winning? Of course we'll win. Want to build up his confidence. I hope you are right. I will pray for it. How's everything in the castle? There is some groaning after the men received word about the coming race to Denerim tomorrow, but nothing serious. I think many are uneasy about facing the Great Horde. We will be outnumbered, it is said, but we have no choice. There are thousands of innocents in Denerim. My own family is there. I can't really run from this. You'd best say a prayer for, prayer for them. Um... We will save them. Don't worry about that. Thank you. You can't imagine what a relief it is to hear you say that. There seems to be a large number of sol number of guards here. We are concerned that dark spawn assassins might be sent into the camp to harm you or the king. No doubt you could defend yourself from such an attack, but we would prefer you to rest easy for a few hours at least. Right. Of course, my lady. Good luck to you. It is an honor, Grey Warden. Nervous about the battle tomorrow, I see. Some of our dwarven allies are here. The Grey Wardens and the dwarves have always been allies. It is a pleasure to join you. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men or haven't they? Yes, stalling. Which is as good as a no. House Clorette's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally they are pleading the need for self-defense. Huh. <laughs> Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... <sighs> Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Is there a problem with the Dwarven forces? Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the Darkspawn all on their own, I suppose? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. I'm worried about the battle. <sighs> and so you should be. I was hoping you'd have some Grey Warden trick up your sleeve, truth be told. Are things truly that desperate? Do we stand a chance of losing? Don't we always? Uh, there's a reason to get drunk, if ever I heard one. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. See, unlike the uh, human guards over there, I'm a little more honest with these guys, since, you know, they've always been fighting the Darkspawn. Good fortune to you, Grey Warden. I have plenty to manage yet before the bugle calls. The Grey Wardens and the Dwarves have always been allies. It is a pleasure to join you. Guess I got all my allies gathered here. See anything interesting? I <laughs> didn't find anything. Ah, fancy meeting you here. I heard rumors that Redcliffe was once again open for business, but my world, isn't this amazing? Such bustle. 
The Earl has kindly offered my son and I lodgings in exchange for supplies. I'm happy to help him. And you too, of course. If you have need of my wares, you have but to ask. Okay, rumors. So, Queen Anora is to marry another son of Merrick, is she? Perhaps once all this business of war is done, people can turn to a coronation and a royal wedding and think of happier things. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you Many are saddened by the news of Tern Logain's death. Despite what he's done, he's still the man who freed Ferelden from the Orlesians with King Merrick. Nobody will forget that. I mean, of if course. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment. All right. Uh, none of them say anything. I doubt they're gonna say something. If there's um, anything I can do for you, and do I'm some last bit of selling real quick. All right, he did actually come with some new stuff, so go ahead and pick up the Dome of Physical Technique. It's pretty much it. Now I'll have two extra points saved. Yeah, like I said, I don't need anything else right now. Cause none of these are useful to me. But we will get some stuff unlocked later, so I'll get on it. It does have future use. Access them right here. It'll do, sure. All right, all right. Can you get in there? Uh, Riordan did want to talk to us. What comes, my friend? So, full of questions, are you? Okay, so, no reason to talk to her still. There you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. There you are. Let has to say. You're both here. Good. Please know I assumed you had already been told. Otherwise, I would have told you this when you freed me in Denerim. I'm sorry. What is it? What are you apologizing for? Tell me. Have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? I assume it has something to do with the taint in us. That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. And what happens to the Grey Warden? A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning, the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. Now... An interesting thing I want to bring up, since I didn't take this path, 
that if you do in fact choose to bring Loghain into the Wardens, you can kind of give this as his redemption and send him to be the one to do the final blow. So in the end, it all comes back to that he's still yet a hero. Just different approaches. Obviously, that won't be happening on my game. Is there no other way? Must a Grey Warden die? As far as we know, the transfer of the Archdemon's essence is automatic. If one of us is not present when the killing blow is made, it is all for nothing. There is no other way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. So, it's up to the three of us to kill this thing. In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Definitely some big news there. Let's see if we can get anything more. You should get some sleep before morning. There will be much to do when the army marches. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. Morgan, is everything all right? I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. And how do you know about this? I know a great many things. How I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you, however. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. Just what sort of ritual is this? It is old magic, from a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some would call it blood magic, but I think that means little to one like you. From where did you get this ritual, Morgan? From Flemeth, of course. I have known about it for some time. So you knew about the sacrifice before Riordan told me? I did. Would you have believed me if I had been the one to tell you? I have my doubts. True. Nothing comes without a price. Perhaps. But that price need not be so unbearable. Especially if there is much to be gained. All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer. Nothing more. Very well. What is your plan? What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me here tonight. And from this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. The child will bear the taint, 
And when the archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. I'm hearing so far. Uh, I see. But what's in it for you? In return, I conceive a child, one who will be born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away, and you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. Why Alistair? Why not Riordan? Even if I thought Riordan could be convinced, he is unsuitable. I need one who has not been tainted for long. It must be him, and it must be tonight. You actually think Alistair will agree to this? You will advise him to do so, and because he trusts you more than he would ever trust me, he will comply. Consider the alternative. If Riordan fails, do you think Alistair will hesitate? The future king of Ferelden? He will die the hero and you will be overshadowed. Just a Grey Warden who accompanied the king. If you would rather, consider Leliana. What do you think she would advise if she knew the life of her beloved was at risk? I think you know. I think you have many good reasons to tell him to save his own life. I think you should consider them carefully. I mean, she makes a lot of sense, but as far as being overshadowed or anything like that, uh, that's not a big thing in how I would approach my character feeling. I wouldn't mind it, but... How do you even know this will work? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work and it will save your life. Wait. I want to know more about this child. As you wish. The child won't be hurt, will it? Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Will the child be evil? What will it become? Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. Okay, what do you intend for this child? I do not wish to tell you. Oh, uh, wow. Well, um, I insist, I need to know what you plan. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. So what if Alistair wants to see the child? I have no doubt he may, but he will not. It is all I ask for in return. Enough about the child. Then you have decided? I'll agree. A wise decision. I shall wait here then while you go and speak with Alistair. I urge you to be convincing. So the child will have the taint, King's blood, and the soul of an old god. Alright.
Little time remains. I suggest you go to Alistair's room quickly. Alright, Alistair, we need to talk again. I see you can't sleep either. I also saw Morrigan outside your room earlier, and the look she gave me. Ooh, that was icy even for her. Is something up? All right, buddy. Alistair, we need to talk. Oh. I guess whatever Morrigan had to say, it's big. This is what I get for becoming king. Everyone always brings you the bad news. So what is it then? Rats running amok? Cheese supplies run low? I can take it. You know, that response like that, we're just going to come out straight to him. Alright, I need you to do something, and you're not going to like it. I don't care for the sound of that. What are we talking about exactly? <laughs> uh, you need to... I kind of want to say three, but... I don't think that's going to come across real well. <laughs> Time to actually be real serious. Okay, you need to sleep with Morgan as part of a magic ritual. <laughs> Cute. This is payback, right, for all the jokes? But you're not joking. You're actually serious? Wow. Be killed by the Archdemon or sleep with Morrigan. How does someone make that kind of choice? You didn't actually mention that part. You're not actually asking me this, are you? What kind of ritual is this, anyway? I won't lie to you. It will produce a child. What? I... I must be hearing things, but are you telling me to impregnate Morrigan in some kind of magical sex rite? This... this child... Why would Morrigan want such a thing? Does she want an heir to the throne? All she says is that you'll never see it. Right until it marches up with an army to claim the throne, I'm sure. Look, even if I was willing to do this, and I'm not saying I am, do you really think this is a good idea? You're my friend, but we're talking about Morrigan. Hey, she's my friend too, dude. Let's do the persuasion. You need to trust me. Trust you? I... Very well. I do trust you. Oh, where is she? Let's go and get this over with before I change my mind. It would seem your talk is done. Great. This isn't a dream after all. What is it to be, then? Has a decision been reached? What a way to come back in here and be like, nope. Alistair has agreed to your request. W wait. I, I want to ask about this child. The one you want. Interesting. Honesty wouldn't have been my first choice. I just want to be sure that you're not going not. to use this against Ferelden. That this bastard child of mine isn't going to show up some year. Of that, you have my word. <sighs> oh, why don't I feel any better about this? All right. Let's just get this over with. Let us go somewhere more private, Alistair. And believe me when I say you will not hate this quite so much as you believe. It's like, might as well make a good time out of it. <laughs>